we met through Facebook. Um, it was about 2012 when I inboxed Marcus. I think it was through a mutual friend that I um, seen him. But I messaged him. I it was recently that I had you know started walking with Christ. I had just got saved, and um, I just inboxed him because I used to see, used to you know post about Christ and things like that. And um, I just inboxed him and asked him how was his walk with Christ. And um, it was short. It wasn't long that we messaged. And then a couple months later, probably about six, seven months later, um, he ended up inboxing me back. And um, yeah, actually, actually, that like the first time she messaged me, like I, I mean, I responded back, but I didn't think of nothing else. So that's probably why it took six or seven months for another message to come through but like I said I was, I was on the bed one day and um, looking through my laptop and um, I didn't have a smartphone at the time I, I actually ended up I got rid of my I got rid of my iPhone to get a regular phone since I had just I just got saved or whatever I didn't want to be distracted so I actually got rid of my smartphone and ended up getting a regular um, I still got the phone, as a matter of fact, but it's a, it was a regular little T-Mobile phone um, cause, because I didn't want to, um, I was trying to get, I was trying to disconnect myself from everything that I've been, you know, around before I got saved. But um, that, the, I, I, I opened up my laptop and I, she had just took pictures. I had, it was the biggest picture I've seen on my screen. So um, I, we had to be friends then, right, for me to see the picture. Yeah, so I seen the picture, and I end up sending her a message and asking her, you know, how is she doing um, with Christ or whatever. And um, we started we started talking from there, but she asked me about a picture I had where I, I, I lost 50 pounds. Um, it was before and after picture where I lost 50 pounds, and she started questioning me about the picture. And um, the, rest of, the rest of the day, I know that conversation was about uh, health and fitness, um, that conversation about health and fitness. So, since I didn't have a, a smartphone, I couldn't I couldn't see whenever she um, sent me a message on Facebook. So what I was doing, I would take my laptop to work, and I was like I said, driving trucks at the time. Um, I was going to like Tennessee, Alabama, Birmingham from Atlanta, but I would stop at every. If, if, you know, McDonald's, Starbucks, any place I knew I could get Wi-Fi to check my inbox, I, I kept stopping to see if she sent a message and I would respond back to the messages that she sent. And uh, I would close my laptop back up and, you know, go back on my way, you know, working or whatever. But we eventually, after after the inboxing, um, what was it, second? Is it the third day, second day? Well, the first day, well, it's probably about the second day you gave me your number. Second day. Mm-hmm. Okay. You yeah. say you can help me out. You gave me a number and you told me no strings attached. She's willing to submit and, and follow me as, you know, I follow Christ. And I love the fact that he he looks to God for the leading of our family. One thing that we started early on was uh, Fruitful Souls, you know, our, our business. Um, I'm the one that usually cuts now and fix and um, do more of the labor of fixing everything. And he... Uh, he take care of maintenance, cleaning, and he take care of the customers. She's a she's a go getter, but she's also um, she's she she helped me like express myself um, in a in a different in a different way. Marcus is a, a special special man to me because he always 
um, he find a solution. If there's a problem, he always the one that will find a solution to it. Um, if he don't know it's something, he will research until he find out about it or what he can do. He's um, a giving man. He loves to give from the heart. And I, I learned a lot from him from that of giving. Um, on our truck, man, that's, it's just, it's, that's a time where we, where we get to talk about things that we can't really talk about why the kids are running around the house or whatever, but. Um, our communication is great on the bus. We talk um, and right before we begin to serve, we always pray and, um, and it's always a success wherever we go.